Welcome back to the Tiger Room Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video about vintage collection Star Wars figures. So, we talk about a few things. I've uh, got a few treats for you in store. Uh, obviously, I want to talk about the new wave. I picked it up uh, a week or a week and a half ago or something, but I just didn't have the time to get the rest of them out to make it really worthwhile to make a video about it. Uh, I want to talk about the Saga collection figures. For those of you who haven't been collecting that long, uh, they made the Saga collection and what why this kind of confused me, why they went this route with a vintage collection the way they did it. And then uh, also going to talk about a few other things uh, and wait till the end of the second part. So this is going to be a two-part video. So at the end of the second part, i got something special for you guys. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go count down. Highest, lowest. First is Snoke, 121, and looks pretty good. Uh, we all know that's Plagueis, and I have Plagueis, so I guess I should do a comparison with that. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of Snoke and Plagueis. Uh, gotta be real careful with that Plagueis, because he's, he's part of that Bubblegates uh, scandal that went on during the Black, beginning of Black Series. Yeah, people say the Hothorable Trooper's kind of hard to find. Um, not really sure why people are so excited about this one over some of the other ones. Wait, I know. This is from the original trilogy. Of course they're more excited about it. Rogue One, Jyn Erso. Jeez, BC 119. We have the Power of the Force Awakens. Uh, First Order Trooper. I gotta spare one of these because my youngest son likes Stormtroopers and he wanted it so bad. Kylo Ren. I don't know if it's the exact same repaint of the one that they did at Walmart. Maybe. Of course, Ray. 116. Okay, so now we're getting into older stuff. The first wave of 2018's, uh, honestly, they're out there. And then here we have the Prune Face. Prune Face! And he's VC114. Now, what you're going to see with the ones I'm showing you now. Uh, looking at this Republic Trooper uh, character debut, never before as a figure, uh, VC-113. Now these guys here, now there's a jump because I'm missing some. I don't have them all. But you had to only, you can only get them online. You couldn't get them in the stores. Some of the specialty comic shops in uh, Hastings, uh, RIP Hastings, 108 on this uh, Jar Jar Binks. Hastings actually uh, carried them. These last waves for a ridiculous premium. Uh, wait, cheaper than they're selling now. <laughs> 107 on Weekway. Hastings carried them for like $12. And uh, I, was, I was not happy with that. Now they're 12 99 as cheap as you can get. And them is 106 uh, I've seen some reports on how they're getting them for like 7 on clearance at Walmart right out the gate. Also saw a report we can get... Three cent six inch figures, but it's not happening here in my local one. Okay, so Royal Guard was super sought after. Walmart released it. I like this version way better, uh, even though you can still get the Walmart one for pretty cheap. Lumat. Now, this is actually one of the only two figures that makes sense with the way they're doing the Power of the Force line. It's a Power of the Force figure that was on Jedi and Power of the Force. And 104. Uh, so that gets me into another conversation is why aren't they doing the coins? They're doing Yak Faces coin. How long did they have that planned? Was that something they just pulled out of their hat at the end on the Jabba Cell Barge? So if you didn't get the Cell Barge, uh, 103, VC 103 for the Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, yeah, and I'm not a huge fan of all the Obi Wan Kenobis and stuff they've made. So if you didn't get your Cell Barge then uh, for $500, then it's going to be hard to get, especially with that Yak Face. So. Uh, Ahsoka Tano, which is another one that Walmart's redone, and I think when they redid her, she looks a little different. Um, I'm not sure, but I like the card back, so that's the one I'm going to be holding my holding on to. All right, expanding universe, Shay Vizla, which uh, she actually came into the I think it was Rebels 101, Rebels cartoon for a bit. Uh, Okay, so I remember seeing Starkiller at, uh, what was it, at Hastings, and I 
he's VC100. And I was going to pick him up, but the problem was that he was 12 bucks, And I knew I had him on the way from Entertainment Earth. But, man, my card's all been up. I didn't know that. I would have had a better version. Okay, so Nitko, Nick, Nikto. Um, VC99. So we're almost to the end of my uh, online buys. And here we are with uh, Tarkin. Now, I like Tarkin. I really do. Uh, VC98. They just came out with a 6 inch version, and if I had them handy, I'd do a comparison with you. Bam, look at that comparison. So there's 6 inch Tarkin versus 3 and 3 quarter inch Tarkin. I think the big one looks more upset. So next I want to talk about Saga Collection and kind of my hangups about all of this in a way. So I'm going to show if as often as I can a figure that I have the Saga version and the other version, the uh, Vintage Collection version. And the reason for that is because when they came out with the Saga Collection, I thought, I was like, well, you know, it, it gives me the card back I wanted, and I wanted the card back in there. And I like the case. Uh, I didn't like this stuff at the bottom of the case. Uh, but uh, for $10, you got basically a $2 case for free. And then when they announced the Vintage Collection, it was weird because, well, here's a Saga figure. And at the bottom of it, it looks like a Vintage figure. In the Vintage Collection, and I just happen to have this one handy, the bottom of it has like a little stand so you can stand them up which I, I like it I like that but it's a different it's a running change that's a big difference between the Saga collection the other thing is that they're not numbered so if you look at these these aren't numbered so you, you kinda got to see the wave and hey let's collect all these that they're putting out right now collect all five in the wave versus this one where it actually looks like a sort of like a vintage style card bag in a way. So I'll quickly run through what I've got here. I've got I got a Greedo and I have a Bosque and I have a Luke Skywalker which I know there's a vintage collection version of him. I have the Han Solo in trench coat and yeah these things actually I got them some of them clearance out for two dollars fifty cents at Walmart. Uh, which uh, was actually better than I've gotten any of the vintage collection stuff. So there's Han, there's a... Uh, now if this guy's was six inches, uh, he'd be pretty much uh, hard to find, you know. And then we got a sand person, and we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now I have more of these. I think they made a total of 12 characters for the Saga uh, original trilogy, and I'll do a separate video on those one day. Continue with the countdown, VC-97. Uh, you've got, they call them Oddball. Now this is where they still showed up at Walmart and Target. Like, I actually picked them up at Walmart and Target. You know, I've got a couple of Malguses, and uh, there's actually a funny story about a, there was a Malgus at a Target that just opened in my area, and uh, the day it opened, they had a Malgus, and I had worked so hard to collect and get a couple already, and I was like, ah, forget it, I'm not going to buy it. And... I went back like four hours later and it was gone. I was like, ah, darn it. And this one, okay, so these are repacks also uh, with the later waves. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but VC-95. Now this is the Luke in Hoth is what I was thinking. The Hoth Rebel Trooper was made because they made him, but I was wrong. Vintage Darth Vader. Uh, VC-93. That's not a 12 back. So we're trying to... Uh, Jedi Rebel Pilot Mon Calamari. Uh, this is from the Blu-ray deleted scenes. So we're getting into the deleted scenes wave here, which was uh, found at retail easily. Colonel Kraken uh, from Millennium Falcon Crew, VC-90. Lando, and I, I really think the Lando and the Skiff is the coolest, and I think underneath all this, he's Lando Skiff. Just with, they just repackaged them for deleted scenes and threw uh, cloak on him. You got Leia here. Uh, same thing. She's the slave Leia, and uh, oddly enough, I didn't know that when I bought it. Uh, I didn't really look into it that much. VC88. 
But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Luke Skywalker uh, building his lightsaber. This is probably the most popular deleted scene that they had. VC-87. So I'm not a big fan of the prequels and the Phantom Menace. Uh, there was talk about how the Phantom Menace line would destroy this uh, at retail, the vintage collection, and that's because when the Phantom Menace did come out, well, the Phantom Menace toys just were stuck at retail, and that kind of happened here. I, even the Phantom Menace wasn't strong enough to move uh, vintage collection card back, so BC-86. So this is a Quanlon Vaz, I don't know. Can't keep up with the 700 Jedi that they had back in the day there, so BC-85. Then Queen Amidala, of course, uh, had to pick her up, BC-84. I'm pretty sure this whole wave's bag looks the same. I want to get into talking about card backs a little bit. Uh, the Naboo Royal Guard here. I really think that they're at a point where they've got enough VCs they could do uh, start... I don't know, they should have really gone the whole vintage drought, you know, done 12 back, 20 back, 32 back, or whatever, each wave. Uh, they did not, uh, but I wish they would have. Even if it's, hey, we're rebooting this thing, let's do that. We got uh, Daltry, Duff, and blah, whatever. Uh, found this guy. Probably got him on clearance, VC82. Okay, we got little Annie. It's a little Annie. Anakin. Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, we see 80. You know, it's funny because I was uh, pulling up some of my favorite Christmas movies for my kids to watch. And lo and behold, this dude that was played Anakin, he was in Jingle All the Way. And it blew my mind because I never knew that, never made that connection until I was trying to show a Christmas movie to my kids. So Darth Sidious, uh, also the Emperor, and he is VC-79. And the fact they packed him with his lightsaber, uh, it's supposed to have a curved hilt, but if I can get that on camera, it does not. Now, with Darth Sidious's hilt, I really think they should come out with the lightsabers, uh, that they had made three curved hilt lightsabers, and they did one production run, and that was it. Never saw him again. They got, like, uh, Aura Singh, I think is the name. Uh, I know they got Sidious, and I know that they had, I believe it was Sokus. Well, anyway, some curved lightsabers were cool, and they need to bring those back. Disney, bring them back, dude. Make 50 million of them. Uh, Rats, Terrell, Pit Droid. Um, I always thought I'd like the Pit Droids more than I actually do. You know, I don't really think they ever made a Destroyer Droid in the... On the Phantom Menace card, uh, that would have sold out about four of them bad boys. I know I think I have a dozen now that I've just gotten used, but I like the Destroyer Droid. That was one of the better things from the prequels. That, Jango Fett, and uh, Darth Maul. Again, another prequel Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we're batting a thousand here, aren't we? This thing warmed pegs. I got tired of looking at it. VC-76. got tired of looking at it along with its friend over here, Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, I like Qui-Gon Jinn. I thought the character was really a cool character, uh, and I enjoyed it. But the figure, I mean, it did not sell well, so I got to take a look at it. Another thing I want to talk about is in my collecting here. Uh, you, you see there's a lot of figures, and part one's going to be winding down shortly, but in an ocean of figures, I just kind of got tired of it, and so I have gaps because it was, it just didn't get me excited. And the number one reason I wanted to collect the vintage collection was simply so I can fill my gaps. And putting out stuff like this Phantom Menace, like I'm tired of talking about the Phantom Menace and I'm not through them yet. Because the biggest problem with that is the fact that I wanted original trilogy characters. But of course, they're catering to a bigger market than just me. Okay. Misa actually liked the Gungan Warrior better than Jar Jar. I think it looks good. I think they did a really good job with it. Um, BC-74. And then this is Aura Singh. 
and uh, I actually picked her up. She was repacked in one of the waves or something. I mean, I'm just confused, I guess, but because I didn't care. I just said there were like five figures I wanted, and I bought the case for Entertainment Earth, and she was in it. I didn't really care for her, but I comes to find out I didn't find her anywhere else, so lucky me, I guess. And uh, here goes this guy, the Naboo pilot. Now, uh, he pilots, uh, he's VC-72. And, and this, look, look at this, this is starting to look more like the old style packaging. And I will get you a comparison. Look at that, see, look at that. They started the vintage collection off wrong. They ended up right though, or better. But he pilots the, the Naboo. Uh, Queen of the Royal Starship, and I thought that was the best vehicle ever made in the prequel series. So, Phantom Menace, you've got this guy here, the Mo Honic, whatever, uh, pod racer pilot, and he's EC-71. Um, I did not like, I'm not a fan of pod racing scenes. I don't like the pod racers themselves. Actually, if the pod racers looked more like the land speeders, I would have been more excited about it. I mean, it's just, if they had a whole bunch of different land speeders that looked different, but pods, I just thought that was so not for me. I'm racking my brain how I don't have more TIE Fighter pilots. But I got them, uh, as you can see. There was an area where I was picking them up for five bucks each at Tuesday mornings. And uh, I skipped over them because I guess I didn't care. Well, I had a, I actually had the carded vintage version. And I was using these as, as fillers was my plan. Uh, and so since I already had them, why don't I need to get another newer version? And the other thing I want to talk about is I peeled these stickers off of a lot of them. Off of almost all of mine. I just went home and peeled the stickers off right away. Didn't do that on this one. Really do like the Slave Leia. Um, and for the reason that you didn't have her back in the day. And didn't understand why you didn't have her back in the day. And uh, I have a couple of them on the green cards too. And I was just excited about it because, you know, you can actually fill out a scene properly instead of trying to push your Boosh, Boosh Leia in there to fill the gap. B-Wing Pilot. Uh, yeah, simple. Wait, I think I got two of this guy. Okay, two B-Wing Pilots. Um, VC-63. Now this guy here I thought was super cool and I found him in the wild. I was so excited I found him in the wild and I was like, yeah. Who the heck is he? I like him though. He's VC 59. Seeing the gaps there? So I went from 63 to 59. This one's 58. So I'm missing 60, 61, and 62. So I don't know who those are. Um, I'm sure there's a list somewhere I can figure that out. Uh, eBay is a wonderful place because you can just type in vintage collection of VC whatever number. And somebody's selling one, so you can find out who it is. Uh, that's kind of how I look them up nowadays. But this is uh, Ayla Sakura or whatever, and I f didn't take that stupid sticker off. I need to, because I really care about the picture more than a stupid sticker. All right, so this is part one. I will be back with part two shortly, and Tidarium Hanger out.